Hello, welcome to my channel. Welcome to another new video. In, in our previous video, we saw how we could connect to a blob in a storage account using um, a connection string. In this video, we are going to be looking at a cleaner approach, a safer approach, a more best practice inclined approach. We are going to be using Azure Active Directory application objects to um, register an application, then we are going to be using role assignment to grant it access to a storage account. So let me share my screen. So you can see over here, we have the application that we have been using. And what this application does is that when I run it, I'm able to download a blob from Microsoft Azure. I can download a blob from a storage account in it in a container from a, from a container in a storage account. So previously I used the um, connection string, which we see here, but this time around, I'm no longer using the connection string. I want to use an application object. So this is the code is um, virtually the same thing. You can see the previous code. So I even copied the previous code. And you can see over here, we are using blob service client class as well as blob container client and blob client. But over here, we are using only blob client. We are no longer using blob service client because we are not using the connection string anymore. We are now using application object from Entra, Microsoft Entra, otherwise known as Active Directory. So um, let me go to my... Edge browser, my Azure portal. The first thing you need to do is to create your application object. So you need to create your application object and you create that by going to app registration. So all you need to do is come over to Active Directory or Entra, Entra ID. Then the moment you open Active Directory, you can navigate over here and you see app registration. So you need to click on app registration and you create one. So let me call this blog download for blog download application, blog download application. Yeah, so accounts, yes, we're fine with my tenant only because it's a storage account within this um Azure within this Azure tenant that will be um using this um that we want to grant access to this application. It's not in uh, AWS or in an on-prem database somewhere or in another Azure account. So it's right here. So I'm fine with this. And I can leave everything as it's displayed, I can leave the, the default. So I'll just click on register and I'm good to go. So I've created the application object now. So this application object is representing what I'm doing in Visual Studio. So what I will do now is I'll come over to, take note of the name blob download application. I'll come over to my storage account. I'll click on the storage account name. Then it's in a container because it's a blob container. So I'll click on containers. The name of the container is data, as you can see here. This name of the container, I'll click on this. Then this is the blob I'm interested in. This is the blob I'm interested in. However, what I want to do is I want to assign role assignments. Role assignment is what I I'm interested in. So how do I go about this? I click on access control. When I click on access control, I can come over to add rule assignment. So it's by adding this rule assignment that I'll be able to um, grant access to this storage account from that application object. So what I will do, one thing you need to take note of, you need to add the reader role as well as 
the blob reader or yeah storage blob data reader so you need to add this storage blob data reader as well as the reader i already have another application object where i added these two so the way it works you add one first before going to add another so um should i do this again mm, there's no need there's no need so you add one first then after that you add another then after adding so let me just go through the process but i won't complete it then you select members this is where you add the application objects then just blob download you can see the name here click on this and click on select then you can now review and assign that is how you go about adding it so after adding it if you should now go over to if you should go to role assignment from this portal click on role assignment you see some role assignment that you've made like the one that i did previously yeah you can see this is the frankly app that i created before i started this video so i added the reader before i added um the app again so um after doing it the first time if i wanted to add after adding reader if i wanted to add this storage blob data reader again i will go over here add role assignment and i will search for it again but this time around i will not click on reader rather i will click on storage blob data reader as the rule that i want to add so that's basically it so we have this fan clear up here then um one thing you also need to take note of is that if we should go to the um so let me click on this fan clear up which is the application that we added the application object that we added um um so let me go to let me open it from our im for our intra ID rather. Yeah, so I will go over to app, app registrations. That that is where we see the list of application objects that we have. And we can see the one I just created now. So we can see the one for frankly app, which I will be using. But let me just show us something about this. When we go over here. Um, what I'm interested in is certificate and secrets. So um, take note of, so the, we have our client ID here, which is one of the, um, the credentials that we are going to be using in Visual Studio. We have our client ID. We also have our tenant ID. So is this two that we are going to be using as well as our secret secret value and how do you get your secret you can either come here and click add a certificate or secret or from over here certificate and secrets click here then click on new client secrets then give it a description um blog download from Visual Studio, then you click on add. So this will add the secret. It is the value that you need to copy, not the secret ID. So um, now we are going to Visual Studio or stop sharing. I will share, go to Visual Studio. I can see that tenant ID, client ID, and as well as the C client secret, which is the value, awards is of interest to us. So these three are what we are going to be using. Then um, this blob URL also, we need it and where we want this to be downloaded to. So if you don't know where the blob URL is, I'll be showing you that right away. So you just paste these three values. Um, then 
let me show you where we get the blog URL. So if I should share to my employer, um, let me go to my blog. This is my application object, or is this my blog? This is my application object. Let me go to my storage account, containers, data. Now this is my blog. What I will do, I'll click on it. I want to get the URL. So I'll come over, you can see URL here. You copy this, this is the URL. Then you go over to Visual Studio. And you paste the blob URL here, which is, which is what I did. Then the local blob is where I want to save the download. So it's downloading it from, from Microsoft Azure to my computer because to my C drive, this is the path that I want it downloaded to. And that's basically it. So you can see that we don't have any connection string here. And yet we are still able to access our um, storage account. So let me go to that directory and let's confirm that there is nothing there. Yeah, so let me stop sharing now with share. So you can see over here that they are, we, we don't have that courses.json here. So it's not here, but I will run the Visual Studio now. I'm going to run it now and we'll see um, if we get our, I'm running it now. Yeah, blob downloaded. I can close this. And now if I should go to our temporary stuff, you can see that we now have courses.json over here. So this is just a quick video on how you can approach um, connecting an application to your, um, to a storage account. So instead of, I, I could recall that I also, apart from this method, when we are working with containers, I showed you how you can do this using secrets. So instead of um, using um, connection string, I showed you another approach that requires you to use B64 version of your connection string and you use secrets at container level rather than in your code. So that's also a good approach when you are working with containers. So another approach is using this application object. In subsequent videos, we are going to see how we can use managed identities. Um, so it's always good to know different ways of authorizing and authenticating resources in the cloud, um, um, depending on the structure of our applications. Okay, so if you find this video helpful, don't hesitate to like, to share, to subscribe and leave a comment.